Don't know. He touched her microphone and he switches off. Oh. It's back on. Mm -hmm. I can say it is all because of his grace and his mercy. Mm -hmm. Amen. He rewards me that I can be, um, I am alive. Praise God. God has been good to me and God has been faithful. Amen. And as Mother Mills were speaking and Minister Kelsey about sowing in drought, sowing in famine. When yes. God has given you an order and you follow obedience, it's better mm -hmm. than sacrifice. Yeah. Amen. In order, as um, Isaac sowed in that land and he reaped a hundredfold. You know, yes. there are someone they may be wondering how comes and they have been sowing and nothing. But no. when the blessing of the Lord is on your life, Amen. you know, when the Lord bless you, you're blessed. And when he blesses you, no man curse you. Oh, you know? And then the ministers were saying what the Lord has done, it must, the favor that God has shown her with that van, it could be yes. only God. Yes. Well, God yes. is real, you know, and God is true. Yes. And so, you know, when we are serving God, we should serve him in spirit and in truth. Yes. Amen. Well, God is a spirit. And Amen. wait upon the Lord. And be of good courage, Amen. you know. And you know, as our minister Kills were saying, you know, what the Lord has done for you, and you know, it must be God. You know, yes. I was going through a very hard time, I would say, a Jordan, a drought, a famine, yes. a storm, an yes. earthquake, a tsunami, oh. it was darkness all around me but the lord is my shepherd and i have waited and i waited praise god and god have answered my prayer i don't know how it happened but it happened amen i can't tell you mm. what god has come true for me what i was waiting long waiting for i waited patiently as david said i wait and patiently for the lord you know and god really answers prayer he's an answering prayer god and when he sees your heart man may look on the outside uh, and say things against you but god read the hearts and he know the heart you he know does. and god has favored me and i'm so glad i am so happy and I'm rejoicing this hour. And every day I will keep rejoicing. Amen. Because I remember where you brought me from. Some writers said, roll back the curtain of memory. No one then. And show me where you brought me from. And where I could have been. Remember, I am human. And human yes. forget. Okay. Lord, remind me. You know, mm -hmm. and... I'm so glad, you know, that my dreams come true. What I was waiting on, it comes true. And it is all because of God's favor. All because of his grace and his mercy. That's why I love to sing this song. God's grace and mercy brought me mm -hmm. Praise God. And I can say, God is good if we only live loyal, true, and faithful. And keep on trusting in him. Believing in him and wait on him. When the time is right, God will come true for you. You know, this is my few words in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So beautiful. Thank you. Amen. I just want to greet um, everyone as well that came on and here. Even Gideon as well. He was able to join us. And uh, we're going to ask Minister Thompson to... Uh, Close us in prayer. Hi, Sister Rosemary Steele. Lovely to see you. God bless Hi, you. Hi, Sister Cassie. God Long bless you. time, Sister Rosie. Can I just share a little quick testimony? Okay. Um, um, well, it's just basically to just say that um, for the past couple of months, um, yeah. you know, be well, before, from maybe, say, March, April, May, of like being in turmoil, going through a lot at home. And, um, you know, with my husband, he's actually moved homes again. And um, um, 
a home that my son had actually um, been told by his work that they're going to send him outside of London for six months to work. And um, he, my son came home and just and said to me, Mom, they just told me like on a Thursday um, that they're going to send him to Brighton to work for six months. So is that Mom, I won't be here, Mom. They're going to be paying for me to stay stay up up not but I can come home on the weekend so he used to come home like Fridays and come and leave again on Sunday. Um but during that time but he never he didn't have to stay six months. You only end up spending about seven weeks. Six six or seven weeks. Um and then he came back la I think last weekend, just before the weekend he ran me and he said, Guess what mom? And I said what? He said, Oh we thought that the job was gonna be lasting for six six months, but it's only lasted for about six weeks, mom. So they said that um, they were gonna send me somewhere a bit further out. Um, but because where I am now, they pay for me to, to, to um, stay for my accommodation, but they don't pay for travel because it's near to the where he's staying. But we'd have to send them out further about two and a half hours drive away he said they weren't willing to pay pay for travel they would pay for him to still have accommodation but not travel so he said well where i'm at now i don't have to pay for travel because it's near so if you're gonna send me further out where it's gonna be more for traveling you don't want to pay then it wouldn't worth me going so they said okay we're gonna send you back to london we got a new um project um, and that's gonna be lasting within a year or two. Um, so we're gonna put you on that. So my son was able to come back home, but during the time um, he was away, like I was at home, and I'm telling you, for for years my home has never been so peaceful. Even when my son um, was here, it was um, like really peaceful. Like, I mean. Just because of the bickering that I was having with my son at home, I was going through things at work. And then I've been really, really like praying and I'm like, God, something really needs to happen because I know that I'm standing for you because my, my husband has backslidden. And there were times that when I was at home doing like um, prior lines and stuff and he would be on, like um, on this other um, uh, link for Jamaica it's not like a group prayer line you just, you just open it and zoom in and then once you, it's finished you, that's it you just zoom out yeah. so it's like every evening and some evenings um, I've been going on it and that when my husband was here like when they're talking about family or marriages and stuff I would go to him and said let's listen to this and he'd be like do you really think I want to listen to this and he would like slam the door or we go away and I was like, God, you know what? Before I got married, I said to my husband that I've been serving God 17 years before I got married. And I didn't want to marry anyone that's going to walk away from the will of God. And a lot said to me that I'm going to have to go through on, on my own. And I've mentioned it to him numerous times, but he still didn't take that in. Like, oh, he, he, he's backslidden. So it was hard for me, but I was really praying and I'm like, God, seriously, you know what? I'm standing for you and I know that I have to be victorious in this. And even going through things at work, the same people that I tried to help at work were trying to be fighting against me. And it worked out that that same person has gone away on holiday for like five, six months, five, six weeks, sorry. Yeah. And um, it's yeah. just gone maybe about four weeks now or three and a half weeks and i'm telling you the peace at work and i remember yeah, speaking yeah. to sister kelsey and she was saying let's see what's gonna happen like when the person is not here yes. and the peace that i'm having at home the peace that i'm having at work yeah, i'm That's telling you it, 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 it it's so it, it it was just so over i was yeah. like god you are so awesome when we stand for you, we don't have to do nothing because you said no. vengeance is yours. Yes. Now my, the lady that I work with is now saying, because she had to pay out so much for that person to be on holiday, she was saying that 
when that person comes back, she's going to tell him that she probably don't need the help anymore because she's paid out so much. And then um, for them to come back and then she still have them, then and I'm, I'm just standing on the word of God for that because I know that, that this person was just bringing in a lot of bad vibes and things at work. But, you know, just to be able to see the turn around. Yeah. And I haven't, I haven't been to church life for, for, for maybe months now. But yeah. I try to, to uh, like, log in. Some, sometimes I'm trying to log in and my phone has just been saying for weeks now that um, when I'm going on WhatsApp that my, that my, um, my, my storage is full. So yeah. sometimes, just as I delete videos and I'm able to go on, I might be trying to log in and then it just says that it's full. I can't get onto the program. So even the, the Jamaican link that I've got, I haven't been able to go on it for more than a week now. Yeah. And even coming on the Zoom here. But today I was like, because I've got visitor at home um, with me and it's like, we can now I've been having visitor. I have my family um, friend, um, the man that I call dad that lives up in Norfolk. They're here with us this weekend. And then we, we all were going to come out to church today, but it so happened that we had to do something and we didn't, because we got dressed to come to church all of us and then um, we went out but it just so happened that we didn't get to come back in time to, to catch church so yeah. i said i'm gonna try and 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 log in on my zoom but anyway um i've been just like saying to god that god you know but one of the time my husband was saying to me oh i've seen that you're on a different level for god and i'm not willing to settle for second in line or third in line in your life so basically saying that I'm putting him before, putting God before him. But there's no other way. The scripture said, you know, God is, we have to put God first and then our spouse and then our children. But he wasn't even willing to settle for second in line. And now I would ever put him second in line because how things have been is like he'd be third in line. So, you know, God has just been, I've been just really, really asking God to help me to reposition myself because yeah. I just want to be able to focus and just, you know, get in all of this trauma out of my life where I'm at a level with God again, where I'm at that peace where I am now. So I just want to start be able to come back out to church yeah. and um, regularly. Yeah. But yeah. it's not, the fact that I'm not like, coming is not that I've drawn away from God or anything because I'm um, it's even more so even when I'm at work with with, with, with the lady that I work with we I pray with her I find that we're praying more the peace Thank is in you. our Amen. home Amen. You know, and we, we, uh, when I go in in the morning the Holy Spirit said to me a couple weeks ago that I need to just pray when I go in there in the morning but sometimes as I go in and I drop my bag I said to her is it alright for me to pray now and she said sure yeah. so I will just go upstairs plead the blood of Jesus just cover the place yeah. and the atmosphere is such a blessing now it's unbelievable so I said to God I said God I if know. I'm serving you and your word never goes void of yeah. course I have to come out victorious. Of course I have to see the light. But Amen. sometimes when we are going through the trauma and the storms, we can't see it then. But one thing I know, I've never doubted God. Amen. From ever since I'm growing up with my grandmother, she always, even when they don't understand, they tell you, don't blaspheme against the word of God. Don't know this, don't do. Oh. So even before I gave my life, I always know that I should never doubt God. Amen. So even when I'm going through the storms and it's really, really hard for me, and when I'm praying, I don't see things happen like in my time. But yeah. I never doubt God because I know that He is he, he, proven it so many times to me that He's never leave me or forsaken me. So even if He doesn't act in my timing, yeah. He's going to come through for me when He thinks that it's the best time. And I can just see that in my life now. So... I just want to say, like, you know, thanks, ev thanking everyone for their prayers. Because I know people have been praying. Amen. But, you know, Amen. when I got saved, I made God a promise that I will serve him for the rest of my life. And that's what I intend to do. So nothing will separate me from the love of my God. 
Amen. And even when I'm going Amen. through to, to going through things and I might not come to church, it's not because I don't go to church because I'm going through things. Because that that would make me wanna draw to church even more. Yeah. It's kind of for the past couple of weeks coming on, it's like something mm -hmm. different has always been happening. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I know sometimes that can be the enemy as well. Yeah. Trying to do things to hinder me and my path yeah. from every time so that I dislocate myself. But when I don't go to church, I draw even closer to get in on a prayer line or something. Yeah. You know, to be able to know that I still got that connection with God. So, yeah. let's continue to pray that like as of next week now, I can see things are slowing down. My family members are fine and slowly going back abroad and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I'll be able to, to um because I even have been asking them to come church with me so that it would be even better to eat is the the, the 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 pressure of me not going in and feeling like oh i haven't been to church for weeks but it's like every time that some some might say they want to come some say they don't want to come and if we we decide that we are going to go something happens that we don't come but anyway mm. i know that you know church being in the body of christ is a good thing so i don't want to depart myself from that so Hopefully next week I'll be able to start church again. Um, has the way God intends, Amen. and that it will continue. So I just want to share that that you know my life is just so at peace now, and my Amen. home is so at peace, and I feel like God is saying it is well with Him. How it is. how I am and how things are now, and I'm just I'm just so grateful for God because I'm happy. Amen. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not in turmoil with anything and pulling my hair out. Yes. So, yeah, I just want to thank you, Sister Kelsey and Pastor, because I know that you, you both have been praying too. And yes. God has right. really come right. through. And that's why we should never, ever doubt his, his, his will and his promises for us. So my daily thing now is just asking God that whatever is his will for me, let it be my desire. Because I know God's got will for each and every one of us. But yeah. that might not be our desire. So we walk in the wrong path. Yes. And and, and and do not the things that God called us to do. So I'm just asking God to help me that his will will be my desire. And just to reposition me that I can, you know, help myself to walk in that. Um, path so yeah that's that's my intention so hopefully we we will be on track again amen amen, amen. God, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you sister thank you. for your testimony and for sharing your You're work welcome, sister Kelsey. Thank, God you. Bless. thank you just want to thank everyone this uh this evening for such a wonderful privilege that we can share we can share and that's what it's all about we edify one another we uplift one another Together. And we haven't stopped praying for one another. We have continually doing that because prayer changed all things. There's a chorus that said it, and after I sing the chorus, then our Minister Thompson's gonna close us in prayer. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. He healed my body. He touched my body. He saved me. Just in time, so I'm gonna praise his name. Praise his name. His name is just the same. Just the same. I'm gonna praise it. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. He did my mind. He saved my soul. He saved me just in time, so I'm gonna praise His name. Hallelujah. His name is just the same. My God. Praise Him and look what the Lord has done. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Minister Thompson will close us in a short prayer. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Greetings to one and all. Greetings to all my brethren. God bless you all. Thank you um, for your testimonies and your encouragement and your words. You know, when you, um, when Sister Mills asks for anybody to say anything the Lord has done for them in the time of famine, I thought of myself 
There was so much I could say, so I didn't know where to start, you know. Oh, dear. Because um, in 1980, I left this country. I went, in 1980, I left this country, went to Jamaica. And the Lord, I was building a house and my, my money went out. And I can say I was in a bit of a famine for a short while. But then oh, yeah. God, God opened ways for me and I got some of the top jobs, right? Important one in Portland where, right. um, where right. um, Pastor McGann is doing his work as a Mr. McGann. I got some of the yeah. top jobs there and God opened ways for me. I, like I was assistant manager to the hotel. I was oh, villa yeah. manager. I was a Port Antonio Marina manager for two years. My son is on the on this on this Zoom, so he was there to witness what I'm yes, saying. Yes, I, I did welcome yes, the yes, video. Yes, 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 yes. But um, I mean, no, no time is far spent. But I didn't know where to start because yes. I know God can open ways for His children, and we yes. don't have to be fear or worried about famine. No, yes. God, God is provide for us. He will make water in the desert. He can, I mean, I have, I'm a present witness to that and I've seen the hands of God. So, oh. you know, I, I, I fully know that God is able in all circumstances to keep us and provide for us, you know. Yes. Um, so bless the name of the Lord. Let us continue to believe and trust and put our confidence in Him because... He will never fail, and he, he never fails anyway. Never. Amen. God bless you, my brethren. I just have a short prayer, sister. Amen. God bless. Pastor McCann said, um, Sister Chelsea, Mass Minister Cassie. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We bless your holy name. We glorify Hallelujah. you. We magnify your name. Your name is to be praised. Hallelujah. From the ends of the earth from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Your name Amen. is to be praised. We praise you, we glorify you, we magnify your name. Bless each and every one here on this Zoom service, Lord. Bless Pastor McGann, Minister Cassie, bless um, Rosemary Steele, Sister Rosemary Steele, Sister Rose Thompson, Sister McLean, Sister Claire Mills, um, Sister um, Mills, and everyone else, my son as well, daily and God bless. May the Lord bless and keep us. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon us. Lord, may the Lord open ways and avenues for us. And may the Lord help us, Lord, to put all our trust in him and to believe and to draw near to him. Hallelujah. Because when we draw near to God, he draw near to us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Bless every one of us, Lord. And those who are able to come with me, bless them also. Take full control of our life and our heart and our mind, our aspiration. Help us to look to you, Lord, because you are the author and finisher of our faith. And we give you thanks and we thank you for everything that has been said and done. And we pray that it was all said to the praise and the glory and the honor of your name. We give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Can I say something, please, Kelsey? Amen. If you open up the bed. Can I say something before we close? Yes. First, first, I want to thank you, Mr. Thompson. Thank you, Dr. Rosie, for coming to visit us today to hold up our hands. It was a pleasure. It was a blessing. Amen. Yes. 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 It was. Thank you for being here. Yeah. 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 Your, yes. your family with you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you for your son, Dalian. Is he here are with us now? Yes, he's on, he's on. Dalian, nice to meet you. <laughs> hope to see you one day in the flesh. Amen. Yes, thank you. Thank you with your thank you for coming on with us tonight. Amen. He's gonna put yeah, me it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming out tonight too because I don't want to know about you from that day. And they want to be what what I'm doing, with Mary. And I'm not the post stop. I do that you passed up? Oh, she uh, one second. I say what I'm doing, with Mary. What I do I die met on the road side. I do I try to charge. Now she's gone. What I'm doing? And I told Is you Is that me Pasta? Yes, no yes. Kelsey, we're not Okay, I'm not going anywhere, Pastor. I told you that I'm not going anywhere. 
I'm glad to hear your voice tonight. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Amen. Good for to see I next just felt like God wanted me to just die, rest in Him, and you know, just get away from all. Of the, I just felt like surrounding, my, my surrounding things were just like. So I was just trying to ask the Holy Spirit just to help me to rest in Him. Yeah. I just really, really see where God was taking me and I've seen a lot of things that was around me that wasn't right and I've just prayed and asked God to take those things away from my life yes, and he's yes. done that and I've seen where he's reconstructed things so I felt like I'm at peace with everything now and I'm, I'm on track yes, but yes. I didn't have gone anywhere past that. I was just uh -huh. like Man, God to help me to deal with things that with my family, you know, coming around and all. it's just been a lot of changes that they've Amen. Okay. Yeah. Amen. And before I go, Sister Kelsey, um, I just Peter, Peter and Rekha Fry like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> he can't can see tonight, but you will hear that. Hey, hey, hey. Kelsey, Kelsey, and my topic will continue. Keep on walking with God straight into eternity. Amen. 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 Keep on Amen. walking with God straight into eternity. Yes. Yes. Okay. I love that. I love Amen. I love the comments coming in. I can see the writer coming in on the phone from America. Amen. So I, want you, I want you guys to come to pray for me. Can I mean to come to Always. In God is good. God is good. God is good. That's my fuel. That's my fuel.